Wait, Razor sucks? Always has been. Sorry, son. So, if you enjoyed that intro, we're gonna discuss why Razor is dead. Specifically, one reason why Razor is dead. Now, Razor is something that I like discussing on this channel. And, you know, I've gotten a bit of attention on it, considering how small my channel is. That one video that I on Razor is really, really popular. I don't know why, but it is. So, we're making another one. This other video that is also taking on Razor comes from the heart. Because if you don't know, your boy is actually a Razor developer. Yes, I have done Razor for a very long time now. And I have grown to dislike it a lot, especially since I've used other frameworks and stuff. I really don't like Razor. However, I still will program in it because it makes some money. And when you're good at something, you get paid for it, even if you don't really like it that much, but you still want to move forward to the next best thing, which in my case will be Blazor. Today, this isn't a technical video, obviously. Today is going to be a little bit of a rant. I have made two technical videos, if you see right here, what they were back to back. So today I'm going to let off some steam on how I feel about Razor or make more clear why I think Razor is basically a dead or it's on its way to die kind of language. Now, I'm not going to bring up the fact that Razor is slow. Everybody knows Razor is slow. In fact, I'm going to tell you right now, Blazor is probably slower than Angular or React with no benchmarking or anything. It's only because you have to basically get WebAssembly loaded up for the client side and the other one still runs on the server. Be that as it may, the advantages of using Blazor is the fact that you can work in C Sharp on your front end. Same with Razor, except it's not the same. And it's the reason why one of them is dying and the other one is taking it over. So I'm not going to mention the fact that if you've worked on a Razor project before, you probably had to go out of your way and adopt some other JavaScript stuff into your project because Razor just sucks at dealing with HTML. It sucks at dealing with anything extra you want to do on the front page. And you probably most likely have used jQuery in the past because you need to make up for the fact that Razor is terrible when it comes to that. Now, if you were in that same position as I was, where I had to use jQuery along with Razor, then please boop the like button and subscribe because I feel your pain and we are together in solidarity. The one reason why Razor is dead is simply because of server calls. Oh yes, weird, right? Out of all the weird reasons, all the actual good reasons why Razor should be dead, the biggest one has to be the fact that the server calls take forever, but most importantly, the fact that the server calls refresh your page, which is why they take forever. That is why it is built with the mindset of 2010, which is when Razor came out and back in 2010, it's still stuck in that era. It is not good. Blazor cannot compete with JavaScript, cannot compete with Angular, cannot compete with React or Vue.js because of that. It is not a modern framework. Have you ever had a user experience where every time you wanted to submit something, you had to refresh the whole page? Maybe if you were building this application, you had to leverage a way to make sure that they grabbed everything from the server so that your user has to do the least amount of server costs possible in order to avoid refreshing the page. You know how bad that is? How bad that experience is? It's horrible. And it's the main reason why Razor lost the race. The main reason why Blazor exists. Razor cannot compete with JavaScript frameworks that allow a better user experience. Sure, they might be SPA, single page applications, but you can still use them to develop web, uh, complex web apps. In fact, it is common to use a .NET backend with something other than Razor as your front end because Razor is just that bad. You could build an Angular or React app and have a .NET backend and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Same with Blazor, except Blazor can actually, does not have to refresh the whole page in order for you to finish something on the page. It does the same thing that these other frameworks do, which is to refresh the components instead, whether it's with the WASM, which is WebAssembly, the client side version of Blazor or Signalr, which is the server side version of Blazor. It all refreshes just the component and not the whole page. If you don't want to, unlike Razor, where you're probably, you're just stuck. You gotta refresh the whole page. That is why it's losing the war. That is why I lost the war. And that's why JavaScript dominates as a front end language. There's just, there's just no competing. And that is the main reason why Razor's dead and Razor's dying. It's simply not good. Like the market has spoken. The only reason why Razor still exists now is because of ancient apps from back in 2010 from these big monolithic companies that want to keep using it. And the only saving grace of Razor is the fact that if you're making server calls, it's somehow more secure or something. But Blazor can boast the same thing. And you know, the market has left Razor behind. And that's why JavaScript dominated. And that's why I think Razor is dead or is out the door, blah, blah, you know, all that good stuff. And 
neither Webform, Razor, or Silverlight were true competitors to JavaScript at the end of the day. And that's why JavaScript has the monopoly right now when it comes to front-end frameworks. And that's why every single .NET developer has dealt with JavaScript in the past because it had to make up for that fact. Blazor is a Razor, should I say. Try to do what Blazor is succeeding in doing, which is to give .NET developers another framework that is competitive to JavaScript, except they don't have to learn JavaScript to use it. They can just use C Sharp, the main language that most .NET developers know from front end to back end. And it's still, you know, very quick comparatively. Sure, it's not as quick as React or Angular, but the leverage of you having like a whole team that already has C Sharp as their background knowledge and then having a framework that is very, is quick enough is worth having Blazor. Unlike Razor, you have to go through loops of getting like another JavaScript language into it and it's really clunky overall. So the way I see it is this, as just like Microsoft has allowed Internet Explorer, has allowed Silverlight and the Windows Phone, Razor will also be given a dignified funeral and Blazor will take its place and bang its wife. <laughs> and that's the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, uh, tell me why. No naive language, please. I like disagreements. I will answer your questions when I see them. And it's great for the engagement. So really, if you are either on the pro razor side or the anti razor side, like I am, let me know. Anyways, I'll have more tech videos out later on. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I like to sprinkle in a little bit of extra non-technical stuff here and there. You know, you got to give, you got to separate yourself from the pack a little bit. You know what I mean? See ya. Peace out.